Let's look at how these numbers translate to a real tire. This tire doesn't list P or LT, so it's a passenger tire. The 265 means the width is 265 millimeters or 10.4 inches wide. Then we have the aspect ratio. This number represents the size of the sidewall compared to the section width. The 50 in this case means that the sidewall is 50% of the width or 5.2 inches. The R just means radial construction as opposed to bias ply. And the final number, 20, that's the wheel size. Now that we've got the width, sidewall size, and wheel size, we can take all that together and get the height of the tire. We'll take the sidewall size, add the wheel size, and then add the sidewall size one more time. Now that gives us a height of 30.4 inches. Lastly, the size of 265 50ths R20 is equivalent to 30.4 by 10.4 R20 in inches. Based on our observations, the 265 50ths R20 tire size stands out for its optimal balance between width and sidewall height, providing excellent stability and handling. Its larger rim size enhances road grip and aesthetics, making it ideal for both performance and everyday driving. This combination ensures a smooth ride with enhanced durability and performance.